Fighting in Canada this week is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. This week, how one Saskatchewan fire department is driving community engagement by celebrating birthdays. Then, Home Fire Sprinkler Week 2020 shifts to a virtual platform. And we'll take a look at columnist Gord Schreiner's most recent Stop Bad column in Firefighting in Canada magazine. The fire department in Kenora, Saskatchewan has come up with a fun twist to help children celebrate birthdays during COVID-19. To reach out and help make birthdays more special, Fire Chief Devin Saka told the Kenora Courier that the department is encouraging residents to get in touch with them on Facebook. They then arrange a time to go over to the residents on a fire truck, complete with flashing lights and sirens, and deliver the birthday child a special gift. The firefighters cleaned the gift with a sanitizing solution. He said the initial idea was to celebrate children's birthdays, but they are now open to celebrating adults as well. Though they only began the initiative last week, Chief Saka said they are already averaging about one birthday call a day. Fire department efforts to make birthdays extra special for children has been widely reported during this pandemic and mark one of the many positive initiatives fire departments have undertaken in their communities to help during this difficult time. The NFPA and HFSC will host their annual Home Fire Sprinkler Week virtually from May 17th to 23rd. Initiated three years ago, Home Fire Sprinkler Week brings a full week of sprinkler education to increase awareness around residential fires and build interest in life-saving home fire sprinklers. Organizers said the first two years were a success and saw participants from the U.S. and Canada. This year, they are planning to offer virtual sessions throughout the week. This will include live Facebook sessions featuring fire service leaders and daily themed videos. To check out the full site and learn more about participating virtually, visit homefiresprinkler.org or visit the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition Facebook page. Gord Schreiner's latest Stop Bad column in the Firefighting in Canada magazine focused on the benefits of establishing call signs that last for life. He recalled that 30 years ago, the only way to contact a team member inside a burning building was to yell to them. Today, he said, it's unthinkable that anyone would enter a burning structure without a portable radio. Schreiner notes teams may have multiple radios depending on size, which allows firefighters to talk to specific individual members of the team. However, he wrote, with technology comes new issues that must be addressed. For example, calling a firefighter who is lost or trapped inside a burning building by a first name on a radio may allow people outside of your department to know and identify the person via scanners. Various departments have come up with tactics to best communicate on scene, but Schreiner said this can often be confusing. A solution, he suggests, is call signs for life. This involves assigning a call sign to an individual when they join the department and then use that throughout their entire career. Schreiner said call signs for life will make the fire ground safer by allowing command to focus on strategy and tactics rather than what call signs to assign to incoming teams. For the full article, visit firefightingincanada.com. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode on Friday, May 1st.